Hello to all and welcome to my YouTube channel EIE Tutorial. As you see in the previous video, how we create a circuit of low pass filter and see the output. Today, we draw a circuit of high pass filter and see the output. As you see in the taskbar, the file menu option, the edit, the view, and the place option. In place option, you have components which you will use in your circuit just pick any of them after that you have simulate in simulate you have instruments different instruments are there also these instruments are also on your right side of your screen you can use any of them from here also after that you have help option then run option in the taskbar as you see in the high pass filter is written on your screen just click in on write place graphic then text and write whatever you want then we want components for our circuit first you have to go on place then components and then choose any of them as we want resistor capacitor just go on all groups then Click on resistor and place it on breadboard by just clicking on the white portion. Then we want capacitor. Just click on capacitor then OK then click on white portion. After that we need function generator for our input. We go on right side. Also you can go simulate option then instruments and choose function generator we go on right side and just click on function generator and place it on white portion and we want one oscilloscope for our output just click on oscilloscope and click on the white portion this is a simple oscilloscope just double click on it and you'll see the output after that we have one more oscilloscope that is agilent oscilloscope just double click and just power on as you see in your labs now we connect all of our components before that we have need a ground just go on sources then ground and ok now connect the capacitor to resistor and we have to connect capacitor to input of function generator before that we have to connect positive of function generator to the channel b of oscilloscope then connect capacitor to input of function generator now we have to ground the common of function generator after that connect the resistor and the positive of oscilloscope is connecting between capacitor and resistor and now the negatives of channel a and b of oscilloscope has to be ground go on place components then select the ground and you will have to ground the negatives now we have to change the color of the output wire to see the output in the different color so just right click on your output wire then segment color and you will have to change like this then ok now we have to change the naming of the wires input and output wire just clicking double click on your wire and write the V in then show net name then ok like that you have to change the name of your output wire just write v out then show net name then ok now our circuit is ready we have to simulate just to see the output go on simulate and then run option or you have to directly run it now see how do we know how our circuit is running so 
आप अपने राइट साइड कॉर्नर नीचे में देखिए ग्रीन लाइन ग्रीन लाइट आपको दिख रही होगी ऑल्सो दे जीरो एरर और जीरो वार्निंग सो गो टू ऑसिलोस्कोप एंड डबल क्लिक इट यू हैव टू सी द रेड वेव एंड द ब्लू वेव द रेड वन ऑफ योर इनपुट एंड ब्लू वन ऑफ योर आउटपुट ऑल्सो यू चेंज द स्केल ऑफ योर चैनल्स और वेव्स यस सी दिस इज आर वेव फॉर्म्स ऑफ द सर्किट ऑल्सो यू कैन चेंज द एम्पलीट्यूड्स नाउ यू हैव जस्ट स्टॉप द सिमुलेशन एंड गो टू इंटरक्टिव टू सी द ग्राफ इन इंटरक्टिव यू हैव ए सी स्वीप गॉन ए सी स्वीप देन चेंज द वर्टिकल स्केल टू लीनियर then go to the output and just add v in and v out to see the output in between click on v in then add and just click on v out then add after that you have to run and you see the graph as you see high pass filter allows frequency higher than it corner frequencies to pass through it cleanly while blocking low frequency also you can see in the graph and you have to change the background to white so now humne iska graph bhi dekh liya iski waveforms bhi dekh li so high pass filter ka ye circuit tha now you have to save your file Just go on file menu option, then save as, and you have to save it like that, where you want to save. Just save it. Write the file name. Thanks for watching the video